Have you ever packed for a trip and felt like you've forgotten something? Well, let me tell you about the time I forgot my entire suitcase while heading to Cox's Bazaar. Imagine. There I was, all set for my grand adventure. My heart was filled with anticipation and excitement, but as the miles rolled by, something felt off. It was only when I reached the airport and saw other passengers lugging around their suitcases that it hit me. My suitcase! I had left it at home! A wave of panic washed over me. I could see my well-laid plans crumbling. But then a spark of acceptance ignited. I was on an adventure, right? And what's an adventure without a little chaos? So I decided to make the best of it. I bought a few essentials and embraced the challenge of living with less. And you know what? It turned out to be a blessing in disguise. So there I was on my way to one of the most beautiful beaches in the world with nothing but the clothes on my back and a wallet. But as they say, the adventure only truly begins when things start going wrong. Nothing prepares you for the first sight of the longest sea beach in the world. It's like the ocean decided to throw a party and forgot to put a cap on the guest list. Cox's Bazaar, a city that stretches its sandy arms wide open, greets you with an expansive beach that seems to have no end. The waves whisper stories of far-off lands inviting you to dip your toes and join the conversation, venture a little further, and you're met with a bustling marketplace, a symphony of sights, sounds, and colors. The air is thick with the tantalizing aroma of street food, a culinary map guiding you through the tastes of Bangladesh, and then there are the locals, the heart of Cox's Bazaar, whose smiles are as warm as the sun above. As the sun set on that first day, I knew that forgetting my suitcase was perhaps the best thing that could have happened. It left room for Cox's Bazaar to fill me up with its own treasures. The next few days were a whirlwind of experiences. From devouring the local cuisine to navigating the vibrant bazaars, Cox's Bazaar was a feast for the senses. As the days rolled on, I found myself immersed in the local markets, a bustling hive of activity where you can find everything from fresh produce to intricate handicrafts. The air was rich with the scent of spices, fruits, and the sizzle of street food, a symphony of sights, sounds, and smells that was nothing short of intoxicating. The local cuisine was a revelation. I tasted the delightful pitha, a type of rice cake, and savored the tantalizing flavors of the hilsa fish, a Bangladeshi delicacy. Each dish was a culinary adventure, a dance of flavors that played out on my palate and left me wanting more. Interacting with the locals was a highlight of my journey. Despite the language barrier, their warmth and hospitality shone through. Their smiles were infectious, their laughter was contagious, and their stories were captivating. They welcomed me into their world, shared their culture, their traditions, and their way of life. It was a connection that transcended language and geography, a bond forged in the shared experience of travel. And then, there was the beach, the longest natural sea beach in the world. Cox's Bazaar was a sight to behold. I watched as the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky with hues of orange and pink, its reflection dancing on the water. I felt the sand beneath my feet, the wind in my hair, and the rhythm of the waves, a symphony of nature that was both calming and invigorating. As the days turned into nights and the nights back into days, I found myself lost in the beauty, the culture, and the magic of Cox's Bazaar. It was an experience like no other, a journey of discovery, of exploration, and of self-reflection. As I left Cox's Bazaar, I realized that I had arrived with nothing, but was leaving with a suitcase full of memories and experiences that no amount of luggage could ever hold. So what's the moral of this story? Sometimes forgetting your suitcase might just be the best thing that could happen to you. You see, traveling light isn't just about reducing your physical load. It's an avenue to open up your mind, to embrace the unpredictability of journeys, to make room for spontaneous detours, and to savor every moment. It's about stripping away the non-essentials and focusing on the essence of travel, the experience. In Cox Bazaar, I learned that each place has its own rhythm, its own pulse, and to truly feel it, you have to be light on your feet. I was more present, more engaged, and I got to immerse myself in the local culture in ways I never would have if I was lugging around a heavy suitcase. So the next time you plan a trip, remember to pack light. Who knows, you might just end up with a suitcase full of stories, just like I did in Cox's Bazaar.